I'd like to show you how to remove T1 noise from a homonuclear experiment, two-dimensional two NMR experiment, like a COSY experiment or a NOSY experiment. Here I have a magnitude COSY experiment, and you can see that in this data set there's stripes of T1 noise for the largest signals or the singlets or the large signals in the spectrum there are large stripes of T1 noise. We'd like to remove this noise from the data set. Since in a cozy spectrum or a nosy spectrum, the um, off-diagonal responses are symmetric about the diagonal, what we can do is symmetrize the spectrum. And by that I mean we compare two regions that are symmetric about the diagonal. Let's say the region where the cursor is here is symmetric about a region where the cursor is here. In symmetrization, what we do is take the smallest of those regions and throw away the largest region, the one that would be over here, put the smallest region on both sides of the diagonal. So we throw away the largest response and we put the smallest response on both sides. So in the cases where there's a stripe of T1 noise here, we can see that there's essentially no response here or a very low response. There's a noise response here where the cursor is. So I'm taking the smallest response, I'm throwing away the noise, I'm putting the smallest response there. So effectively I'm getting rid of that stripe of T1 noise. In the cases where there is a signal, an off-diagonal response, let's say for example this response and this response are off-diagonal responses, symmetric with one another. Symmetrization effectively takes the smallest one, which appears to be this response, throws away the largest response, puts the smallest one on both sides. So we still retain our responses, albeit they are slightly smaller, and we throw away the stripes of T1 noise. The way we go about doing this intelligently is you should scale your data set before you um, symmetrize it and pick the smallest real off-diagonal response and then scale the data so that the smallest response is, is just on scale. I'm assuming that the smallest off-diagonal response is this one, that's symmetric with this one. And I'm going to scale the data set so that that's the smallest response. So on this scale, we can still see these stripes of T1 noise. Now I'm going to symmetrize the spectrum. It's symmetrized with the command SYM, and then Enter. And then I'm going to scale the data set again such that the same response is just on scale. So now this, this off-diagonal off -diagonal response is now just on scale. And we can see that we've effectively gotten rid of all of the stripes of T1 noise. This is not without cost. There are artifacts in the spectrum. If I look at this, these responses um, here, and their symmetric responses over here, these are not real cozy responses. These are areas where there were two stripes of T1 noise that had intensity here and in its diagonal region here and we've effectively taken only the smallest region of T1 noise and put it on both sides. But you can see nonetheless that the data are cleaned up considerably and if we do a comparison um, between this symmetrized spectrum and the spectrum without symmetrization we can see that and they're on the same scale such that this response is the smallest one um, in the window we can see that we have a much cleaner data set in a symmetrized uh, spectrum. And that's how you remove T1 noise from a homonuclear experiment. If the experiment was a nosy experiment or a phase sensitive experiment, rather than use the command SYM, you would use the command SYMA, which would retain the signs as well.